Tom said, I see something. Can I stop here? I can get something here. It's him. Come on, Timmy, we'll finish your lesson downstairs, huh? X-rays. It's on for tomorrow. They'll tear this place to pieces. Big loss. No, man, they'll tear us apart. But that's not your problem, is it? Where will you be after tomorrow? Can you make it? I need you, Dennis. Thank you. <laughs> Some death. Why do you have to do this thing, man? for the 17 brothers who are in prison for doing the same thing you're trying to do. Those brothers left families behind. The organization must look after them, see that they're fed. Our guys never pulled anything like this before. And you, man, I remember seeing you on television about four or five years back, telling people to register and vote, talking love and nonviolence. You sold me. Times change. They beat me up pretty good. They shot me, put me in jail 19 times. They tried to bury me, brother. Yeah, well, I haven't changed. I'm not asking you to do anything violent tomorrow. That's chicory, brother. I know. I know about Chicory, Dennis. My old man was a preacher. He never had a paying job in his life. How long did yours work for the man? 40, 45 years. Did he get a nice pension when he retired, or did he die on the job and got nothing? You tell him, Jason. You keep out of this. She knows, Dennis, man. Nonviolence is one thing. Passive dying is another. You like being a squatter. A man pays rent on the roof over his head. Oh, my God. Awesome. Cryptography systems are based on mathematical problems so complex they cannot be solved without a key. Janik must have figured out a way to solve those problems without the key, and he hardwired it into that chip. Well, I turn it off. 
anybody want to crash a couple of passenger jets? I said, turn it off. Turn it off. So it's a code breaker. No. It's the code breaker. No more secrets. Honey, you and Melissa get your things. What time is the handoff? Nine a.m. Well, between now and then, we are going to institute some security around here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is where I get off. Nice to see you again, guys. I'm out of here. Don't take this personally, Liz. But you were the only one who knew Martin's secret. Somebody talked. So make yourself comfortable. We're all staying right here tonight. No. I'm getting my bag. And I'm leaving. So relax, Crease. I'll relax when we get that damn thing out of here. Until then, you stay. What? There isn't a government on this planet that wouldn't kill us all for that thing. Sorry. I see. Carl, did you get the alarm? Mother, lock everything Whistler down, doors and windows, that. then kill the light. You bet. Thank you for the trust, fellas. I really enjoyed sleeping with all you guys. Take care. Bye, Liz. You too, Liz. I hope the handoff goes well. I'd hate for you to have something new to run from. Martin, time. Yeah. Morning. Okay. Everything okay? Valentina is evacuating Isabella and her family in case the jackal knows where she lives. Look. The director doesn't even know where Isabella lives. I ordered Witherspoon to keep her out of the report. No way Jackal knows. Well, our Russian Blackheart surely passed everything else to him, didn't he? Here, look. That's your phone number. That's Valentina's. You know those two at the bottom? The first one's the Russian embassy. 
second one is... Son of a bitch. What? This is an FBI access code. <laughs> This is Special Agent Carter Preston. My authorization number is 223578 Kilo. I need a voice transcription of Field Report November Alpha from 915 this year. Agent filing with a spoon, Timothy I, and I'm in a hurry, operator. Subject Isabella Zancona at the following address. Witherspoon, you by the asshole! Shit! Nine. 